Hello guys, welcome back. Meta AI just introduced the Llama 2, which is the next generation open source large language model. Despite Llama 1, it is available for free for research as well as commercial use. We have seen many applications which are built on top of Llama 1, right? Now it will be interesting to see what sorts of applications will be built on top of Llama 2. In this video, we'll go through the announcement and see what this particular announcement consists of as well as we will go through a playground which they have provided. Let's get started. I am now on the Hogging Face website. Why I am here is because whatever model appears, everything lands on the Hogging Face website. So this is this is the good place from where you can do the research. Here you can see there is this Meta Llama 2 and this is verified account, right? So here it says that welcome to the official Hogging Face organization for Llama 2 models, right? Here is the please visit the Meta website and accept the license terms and all the different things in order to use the models in Hogging Face, right? So you cannot use it without accepting the licenses. And as you can see here, it says read our paper and learn about the model as well as the code is provided in the GitHub. I will provide this link. You can also see here it is huggingface.co meta llama. That's not that difficult, right? Let's go through about the model here. So yeah, this is the page introducing Llama 2, right? So you can download the model. If you want to download the model, you can just click this. If you go through this link, you need to provide some information and then accept the terms and conditions so that you can continue to the next step. But I'm not going to go through that right now. But if you scroll a little bit down, what is inside the model, right? So it says that Llama 2 was trained on 40% more data than Llama 1 and has doubled the context length. So if you see here, there is 7 billion, 13 billion and 70 billion model size and pre-training tokens is 2 trillion as well as the context length is 4096, right? There is actually two different things. One is the pre-trained model and the next one is the fine-tuned version for the chat use cases. For, for the chat use cases, there is the data collection for helpfulness and safety, right? Supervised fine tuning over 100,000 and the human preference is over 1 million, right? So if you scroll a little bit down, this is what I just said you and the, there is the benchmark. So this is interesting. So there is the benchmark here. This is interesting to see, right? So Llama 2 actually outperforms other open source language models on many external benchmarks, including the reasoning, coding, proficiency and the knowledge test. As you can see here, there is different benchmarks and different models being provided here, right? And there is Llama 2 7 billion, Llama 2 13 billion, and there is MPT Falcon, Llama 1, and then Llama 2 70 billion, right? So the Llama 2 70 billion actually outperforms all of those as you as you can see here it says here higher is the better right so if you can see here there is 85 and i don't see here 85 so 33 56 29.9 human eval and 54.2 85.2 in bull q so this is compared to the open source model so don't get confused this with the open ai's model right if we scroll it over down, more uh, model details, right? Llama 2 was pre-trained on publicly available online data sources. The fine-tuned model Llama 2 chat leverages publicly available instruction data sets and over 1 million human annotations. If you want to go through this, you can just click this technical details and it will just land you there, right? If we go to the technical details, you can just go here and download the model and when you download the model you will receive the model code model weights the readme of course the user guide responsible user guide license acceptable use policy and model card that is the technical reports and the partnerships and the good part here is that they have partnered with microsoft right in the future how other open source models are going to cope with this meta ai because this is open source model from Meta and they are partnering with Microsoft. That is actually quite huge news. If you again go back to the Hogging Face website, here there is this our paper, right? So you can even go to this particular paper. So where it says uh, conversational AI, Llama 2 open foundational and fine-tuned chat models, right? 
so yeah you can just go through this and download the paper and go through this and they have also said authors like so it is written by many people by the way as you can see here okay so now i am on the chat interface or the playground right uh, where you can just choose which model you want to use i'm i'm going to use the 7 billion for now and the temperature you can just modify the temperature from here as as you can and the top p parameters also you can just modify here and the maximum uh, sequence length you can just go from 2048 to 4096 as you want here and here is the prompt before the chat starts right edit here if desired so you can just give whatever you want here and it is the resources here is chatbot demo code you can also actually go here and see what is the code that is being used to create this chat right it says llama to chatbot so you can utilize this and see what you can do also and the next one is the replicate model on replicate right so if you click this there are different things here so llama 13b version 2 chat you can see the demo also here there is the api part here and there is this examples also like as you can see here it says write a poem about open source machine learning and it is writing the poem here right so you can see other different examples that is being provided in this demo i am just going to ask a simple question i will just say write me a code to read csv file right yeah just normal example to see how it performs so as you can see here i am using the llama to 7 billion and the response time is quite fast i can just now go here and say can you use pandas so right now before it just use the file csv right in order to read the csv file but i said here can you use pandas of course you can also use the pandas library to read a csv file in python right so it understands what i asked before and then here is a code to perform the same things yeah so you can just go here and play around you can just clear the chat history here and have the conversation again but now let's try with the 13 billion and let's try the same thing right write me to read csv file right so if i write this okay sure to read a csv file something something here the answer is the same but as you can see here the 7 billion was performing quite fast in my opinion and this also used the same thing with import csv and you can also now just say use pandas right so it will use pandas to read that particular csv file so this is just a simple example i'm showing you here but the response time is quite fast as you can see this is open source and although this is not quite there in compared to the OpenAI's GPT 3.5, it seems quite impressive being open source and the response time being like this. Before I conclude the video, I would like to show you this training Llama 2 chat, right? So Llama 2 is pre-trained using publicly available online data, right? So as you can see here, there is this pre-training happening, pre-training data, self-supervised learning, and there is this Llama 2, right? So now there is the fine-tuning part here. So as you can see here, the supervised fine-tuning, which is mentioned here, an initial version of Llama 2 chat is then created through the use of supervised fine-tuning, right? And there is the Llama 2 chat. Next, Llama 2 chat is iteratively refined using the reinforcement learning from human feedback rlhf right so as you can see here it goes up here rejection sampling and then there is this proximal policy optimizations right and there is this human feedback being provided so human preference data safety reward uh, model as well as the helpful reward model right which includes rejection sampling and proximal policy optimization as i said to you before so yeah that is how it is being trained and yeah this is huge news for the open source community let's see in the future what kind of applications there will be it would be interesting to see what kind of applications or what kind of other fine-tuned versions of open source applications will be created out of this llama 2 yeah okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video